Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Joburi Solus Pro. This is an active noise cancelling pair of headphones which sells on Amazon for about 70 bucks, which isn't too expensive uh, for a rather premium pair of headphones that offers a good amount of bass as well as uh, music clarity if you're listening to pop music, electronic music. Uh, these are over the year style headphones, so they are a bit more bulky, so it's something to quickly note, but they do uh, actually fold down so you can take them with you when you're traveling. Um, otherwise, they cancel out noise up to a rated 85%, so it's not quite as high as 92% or 90%, which you see in a few other models on the out on the market, but nonetheless, it does a pretty reasonable job. Um, and otherwise, it claims to have a battery life of up to 30 hours of continuous music playback, and then 15 hours when you have the noise cancellation function turned on. This is what the packaging looks like. You can see it has a uh, pretty nice look going on. You can see on the sides here there is an LED light which will illuminate when the unit is uh, actually turned on and once the actual noise cancellation function is on. It has a 40 millimeter driver on board and otherwise does have a memory foam padding as well so it's pretty comfortable as far as wearing these. Comes with a nice hard shell case inside which allows you to protect the headphones when you are traveling around. That's going to be useful for frequent travelers if you're riding the plane or maybe some mode of, tra of public transportation, maybe on an airplane. It's going to block out the engine sound, allows you to maybe rest or sleep in peace or listen to your music in peace. So here we have the casing, has the company's logo embedded on the side. Uh, the zipper feels pretty fluid. On the inside there's just the headphones. We'll take a closer look at the design and talk about the performance in a moment. But there are a few other accessories inclusive of a user guide or user manual. And over here, which is attached using Velcro onto the inner lid, can be removed, features access to a detachable 3.5mm headphone jack, uh, which is nice to see. It means that if the cable tears or if it breaks down, you can just get another, another pair. It's a flat ribbon wire design which prevents tangling, also has a gold plated connection which is a bit more secure than let's say silver plating or a, a more traditional uh, rather a copper plating. And there's also a talk end key on the sides here which allows you to reject a call if you have it plugged into an Android or an iOS smartphone. There's also a microphone on the other side for uh, directly using the headphones for uh, conference calls or for speakerphone calls. Over here there's also an airplane adapter even though the standard has now been shifted to just traditional 3.5mm jacks on most planes uh, but it's still a nice accessory to see. There's also other adapter tips you get in the packaging and there's also a micro USB cable for charging. Uh, the headphones takes up for you four hours to completely charge and there's also another 3.5mm cable this time without a flap ribbon wire design but this one doesn't have a remote control either so it's a more typical one just for music music listening if you have it plugged into an iPod or onto a Zoom. So taking a look at the design of the headphones next, uh, overall I do think that these have a pretty classy look going on. Material choice here is quite good. The plates are made out of aluminum, the same thing with the actual band. And all the moving parts, despite made, being made out of plastic, do feel fairly well constructed. So it's not something that I feel will break very easily, which is nice to see. Uh, you have access to the company's logo on the top and also a very generous layer of memory foam for the padding. So it is quite soft and comfortable over your head. If you're wearing these for four to five hours, you're not gonna have an issue with comfort uh, from the headband at least. Uh, the memory foam being used on the cushion side for the years are the same material as the head, also very soft, also very comfortable, but uh, over longer periods of time, like four to five hours, it's going to accumulate a bit more of heat just because of that over the year style design. So probably best idea is to take a break after you listen to it for uh, you know a longer period of time, a few hours, just to make sure that you know your ears can re regain a bit more of comfortability with the temperature before wearing them again. Otherwise, you can see that they isolate quite a bit of sound just because of this design in general, but of course this is active noise canceling headphones so it does use a few ambient uh, microphones to detect your, the, the noise around you and accordingly adjust uh, the sound, kind of creates this uh, white noise or a slight static in the background to kind of rhythm out as well as uh, erase almost the engine sounds around you, so that's nice to see. The size here features access to a power on off switch for the active noise canceling component. You don't have to turn this on just to listen to music if you don't want to. Uh, which is nice to see. There's also an LED light which will turn on when you do have the uh, active noise cancelling on. The bottom features access to the micro USB port for charging as well as the 3.5mm jack for connecting to an audio source. I would have liked to see maybe the addition of Bluetooth in a second generation model just because they already have all the components necessary to do that. It's just a chip that they need to built in. It already has a detachable cord, it already has the battery in place, so that's something that, can, that the company could consider in a future model.
Otherwise, I would say that the design here is very strong. Uh, it looks, again, quite classy and definitely more expensive than uh, the price point here actually is. So a nice job from the manufacturer. So in terms of the actual uh, music quality, uh, I have to say that these are quite nice just because they are well balanced and they pack a quite a punch in the bass department, lower frequency as well. So if you're playing back, uh, let's say rock music, uh, electronic music, you can definitely hear a thump uh, to, to the beats and to the music, which is nice to see. But overall, they're also quite clean and also balanced, uh, even if you're listening to higher frequencies and things like pop music, uh, maybe even classical music, it does a nice job with. Of course, if you're an audiophile, you probably can find better headphones out on the market market, uh, and there are definitely better sounding headphones at this price point, uh, because the active noise cancelling component is where part of the value of these headphones comes from. Um, and if you have the ANC turned on, that's going to decrease the music quality as well, just because of that little bit of static. Uh, but it does give you a lot more comfort, comfort uh, if you are traveling and you don't want to constantly hear maybe a whine in the background uh, or the engine in the background, this is a good choice to go with. Um, so otherwise, as far as music quality concert is concerned, I think that most folks will definitely definitely be pleased with these. They're clean sounding, uh, they deliver a balanced sound uh, no matter what type of music genre that you really want to listen to these with. Uh, even with ANC off, you can still listen to your music in relative peace just because of the over the year style of these headphones and they isolate a nice amount of sound uh, just naturally because of this design. Uh, they're comfortable, sound quality is good, the a ANC is a added bonus. Something I will say quickly is uh, ANC is something that can create a little bit more stress over your ears. So if you're using them very often, um, it, it can create a, a bit more of a headache, uh, but that's something that will vary from person to person, but that's a general warning I wanted to quickly point out. Uh, but I do like how this uses rechargeable batteries to operate as opposed to a AA or a AAA design that a lot of other companies go with, uh, unless you're talking about more expensive headphones, perhaps by Bose. So a nice design all in all by uh, Jubilee here. So you can check out more details about this uh, pair of active noise cancelling headphones in our official written review, but for now this has been it. This has been our look at the Solus Pro. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.